Hey guys, it's Marco from Nara Media, and today I'm gonna to show you how I made the super cool Lego AI ad in VO3 and Flow. So this is all through Flow. I'm gonna show you the prompting I did and kind of how I started and how long it actually took me. So here's the ad, check it out. So for this one actually, I use Gemini. So what I wanted to do, I've done other ones in my last tutorial, I showed you how I did the starting image and the ending image and how I stitched them together. So what I was trying to do is I was trying to get a realistic image. I actually really like this image. This was a really cool Ogopogo Lake monster. And then I wanted to get the after photo. So I'll just flip here. And then it gave me this. And then it gave me this is the after photo. So you can see the Lego set didn't match up. So my main focus was how do I make this exactly the same green? It's got the spikes and now the spikes are green on this one. The spikes are yellow on this one. So then, you know what? I said, I want to update the prompt. So I'm just trying to use this one. I wasn't using Jason. I was just trying to use normal text. So you can see everything in here. And then I said, give me three prompts for uh, flow. So I want to make this flow. It gave me the three prompts. And then what I got into here, you can see I asked for three prompts again. It wasn't giving me, I spent quite a bit of time setting up these prompts here. And then it's like on the table, hyper-realistic. And then I'm like, you know what? We're getting too many prompts. Can we do it in two? So now I had the before and the after. This is like the anticipation of the explosion. And I took this and then I took the after because I was going to use, I'll show you in a sec here. Then, you know, I had to get even more specific because it kept changing the Lego coming out of the box. I needed the Ogopogo Lego to match the box perfectly. So, and then I had to give it, then it was making it blue. I'm like, this is the, <laughs> this is the Ogopogo we have here in Kelowna. It's like a green, more friendly green type creature. So then I went back in, I updated the prompt again. I said it has to match the same. So then it gave me a new box. I said, I like this Ogopogo. Like this is the Ogopogo I want. And this is the color I want. I wanted like a more, like, I don't know, not as scary. Then it redid the prompts again, prompt one and two. I tested this out, wasn't really working for me. Then I said, hey, I redefined it again, mostly green. Cause it was giving me a blue and then I updated it again and again, another prompt. Then I was, you'll see all the results here. Then I said, you know what, let's just go to Jason. I want two prompts. It gave me the, bef the before prompt here and the after prompt here. And then it started giving me images <laughs> coming out of the box. And I'm like, well, that matches the box. So that's good. That's kind of what I'm looking for right here. I'll show you guys this. Like this creature needs to fall out of the box and start swimming. Then I finally went back to the old style. I just took a straight up Jason and I got the best result. Now I'll head over to Flow. So you guys saw all the prompts and this was, I probably used about, I don't know, 200 credits here to get this. So here's the first one. Cause I originally wanted it to just be on the table for the first scene and the, and the box to start shaking and then the bottom to bust out. But I wasn't, they gave me two Ogopogos here. So I realized I had to go back and fix my prompt. I had to be more specific, one Ogopogo. Then this is the second one. I'm not even gonna bother playing it. It made the Ogopogo gray and then it made it gray again. And this is when I went back, you saw, I said, I need this color. Then, you know what? I'll play this for you guys. All right, and then here's part two of it. You can see the issue I was having is this was the first frame, right? You can see the color of the Ogopogo. And then it was giving me, it changed it to this. And this was built in flow. So what I did was I went here to this image, right? I added it to the scene. Then I went plus, extend to, and you think it would know I guess because they're different objects, I extended to and I threw in the text and I even threw in the JSON to JSON and it wasn't working for me. And we started to get some green, but it was still a little blue. I'll show you here. And 
And then it started to not even really look like Lego, you know? Um, then we got back to this one. I was like, okay, now we're looking pretty good, but you'll see. And then this was part two. So this was part two after um, the part one. So I'll add this to scene and I'll show you how it all came together. Right, so now that I have two together, you'll see, look at the spikes on it, right? They're spiky here. And he has the green with the green and check this out. And now he had the rounded, he had the rounded uh, fins. So he went from spiky fins to rounded fins. You can clearly, and the green's difference, you could clearly tell that this was not the same Lego figure. So this was the problem I was having. This is why you saw so many revisions in my prompts. Then I got this one. And then it started, it started actually getting worse. Check this out. Actually, that one wasn't so bad, but does it look like the one on the box? Yeah, but the box, you could see what happened was the pieces were just coming up. So the box exploded and then the box was fine. So it didn't make any sense. And then I used Jason for the second prompt and started like doing some weird things here. I was having some issues. And then the final prompt. Simple. I should have just kept it simple. I was trying to do frame to frame, right? And then every time I would swap the frame. So I kept this in one and this was the result. So this is the final and it turned out perfect. All right, so there you have it. That's behind the scenes of how long and the troubleshooting um, you currently have to do with AI. It's getting better and better. This is all through VO3. Some of those were VO2 uh, generations, but yeah, that's it guys. Thanks so much. Hope you like, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.